side. And I've heard people say that Jere isn't really a language. And it can't be a language because it hasn't got any literature. Well, that's a bit, a bit bizarre because we've even got a monument in the Royal Square to Jersey's first writer, Wace. Uh, but Jersey is actually famous for its literature. Jersey and Guernsey started a literary revival at the end of the 18th century, which inspired a revival in mainland Normandy in the 19th century. And the writers of the 19th century in Jersey, in Jersey had links, of course, with Victor Hugo, who was here, with Swinburne, the English poet, uh, other writers from the British Isles and from, from, from France. So um, I, I actually found this week a rather good um, uh, mention in a Guernsey newspaper. They even admitted it in Guernsey in the 19th century that Jersey had a brilliant literary group. So if Guernsey can say it, we can certainly believe it nowadays. Uh, here are some examples of uh, some, some old literature so the books you may find. But one of the differences with Jerry literature is often it wasn't published in book form. Rather like the articles in magazines uh, or in newspapers today, it was published in pamphlets, in newspapers. So it's very direct, often very satirical, often poking fun at people in power. One of the things is, um, where there was a Jerry column in a, in a newspaper, quite often you'd have a a basic report of a political meeting or a state session or some sort of debate and the Jerry column would be able to be much ruder because it was aimed at people who were in the know. So that's an example of Jerry almost being used as a secret code between people uh, who could understand and uh, rather excluding uh, people who, um, who didn't have the advantage of knowing uh, Jerry and all the details. And that of course came in very strongly during the German occupation, when Jerry speakers who remained in Jersey were able to use Jerry as a means of secret communication, which the Germans couldn't understand. And they even on occasion mentioned prints of stuff in the newspapers of Jerry, which were undercutting the occupying Germans, but the Germans weren't able to translate or understand the Jerry. And even their French translators couldn't manage to make head or tail of it. Sounds like uh, there are all sorts of useful ways of using a language. Presumably the fact that the, a lot of publication was done in the newspapers meant that it was very ephemeral. Because people don't <laughs> tend to hang on to the bits that are the newspapers. Even, although I, my, my wife is one for cutting out little bits and pieces that she wants to hang on to, they never get looked at again. But presumably it's more difficult to actually find nowadays what was being written at that time. Yes, certainly. I mean, the 19th century newspapers were the equivalent of websites today. <coughs> So you think in Jersey in the 19th century, you'd have six different newspapers being written in three different languages. So you'd have English newspapers, French newspapers, and both might include some Jerry in them. So it was a very multicultural, um, a very intensive media uh, sort of uh, atmosphere, uh, but it didn't mean people didn't keep them. The newspapers were like websites important for immediate communication, but they're not books, they're not models. Shall we have a look at the next slide? <coughs> uh, just uh, a few examples of some of the Gerrier writers who are best known uh, for their output from Wace uh, to uh, Franklin Nate, who wrote the big dictionary in 1966, uh, which basically standardises the spelling. Uh, and uh, Charles Picot, who wrote a lot of ghost stories, is quite interesting. Okay, let's go to uh, the next slide. <coughs> and I want to ask you, why is there no Bible in Jerry? There's no Bible in Jerry because French was the only official language of Jersey until the beginning of the 20th century. And so church services were in French. People could understand French. Um, so the Bible was read in French, but then sermons would be in Jerry to explain to the people. When John Wesley came to Jersey, he had to trouble with translators. He'd go around the parishes in Jersey preaching uh, Methodism, but he'd have translation, translators <coughs> translating what he was saying into Jerry. And the problem with that is you don't have records of the 
the translations and the explanations. We just have the French Bible and the French texts, which were official. So therefore, there's a bit of a playoff between what was official and what was actually spoken. And what's spoken among the people isn't necessarily correct. Okay, let's get to the last slide. There's a picture of a museum I know of Libby Langley, which was painted by John Everett Miller. Language were they speaking while the painting was taking place? They were both Gerio speakers. Lily Langtree spoke in Gerio when she opened the Opera House in St. Helia. Uh, so John Everett Millet, who became president of the Royal Academy, uh, the greatest, um, uh, the official body of uh, painters and artists of the United <laughs> Kingdom. Uh, he was actually born in Southampton, but as I said, um, uh, being, being born in a stable doesn't make you a horse. Um, and he always considered himself very Jersey. And so when uh, Lily Langton was sitting with the famous uh, painter uh, Millet, they were chatting away in Jerry. Okay, let's finish off by uh, going to the last slide now. And uh, if you want to know more about Jerry, well, there are a number of different ways that you can do it. And you can have a look at our website, www.jerry.org.je. Or we have a blog which is updated at least once a day. It's one of the most active blogs, I think, that in the channel islands, would you agree with that? Uh, we're working on it. Yes, okay. Uh, we have uh, YouTube available, and if you want to have a look at some Jerry on YouTube, then just simply do a search for Jerry there. Uh, we are also on the BLE, uh, and we don't even push as much as we should do there, but we have got presence on the BLE. And um, some of the posters with all the pictures which we put up there are downloadable uh, from the BLE, so if you're looking for any information for projects, uh, on any subject, have a look at what we've got, or just contact us and we might be able to help.